Hey Aquarius. All right, you guys, gonna be for anyone that has Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Aquarius out there. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. If it does, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, it's gonna be a love reading. This is gonna be for anyone that's taken, loosely involved, single, doesn't matter, okay? It's an almost personal reading, so it should feel like I'm talking specifically to you, all right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The whole reading may not resonate, but parts of it may, okay? All right, let's see. What's the overall energy and love for Aquarius in the month of July 2021? What's the overall energy and love for Aquarius in the month of July 2021? All right, so you have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, and restraint. So there may be somebody that's in your energy that you are addicted to, or this is someone that is addicted to you, okay? Or someone's very possessive, okay? This could also be some type of, um, some type of other addiction that you may be needing to work on, or they do, all right? Oh, look at this. Twin I, you know what? For some reason, I felt like Twin Flame was going to come up, come up for y'all when I saw Addiction. Okay. So, you are... Okay. So, this is, this is a Twin Flame read, it looks like. All right. Um, oh, sorry. Hold on. Yin Yang is what it's... Oh, hold on. Let me focus. Focus. All right. Yin Yang, Zen, balance, um, union, duality, coupling, and complementing each other. Okay. So, this is someone you are addicted to or feel addicted to. All right. But it's your Twin Flame, so it's actually natural actually all right um something more for aquarius and this twin flame of theirs there's an energy of being obsessed with your twin it looks like or your twin is obsessed with you oh damn oh you got so many okay you have a lot of cards want to come out i'm gonna read them all but i'm only taking the one on top show the world the real you full moon in aquarius that's for you show the world the real you show this person the real you okay a fiery climax approaches Full moon in Aries. Your twin could be in Aries. And you also have step out of your comfort zone. All right. North node. Okay. You're being told to be your most authentic self down there. All right. So your, your twin may be in Aries or another Aquarius. For some of you. All right. Bottom of the deck. You have work through your fears. It's the energy of you needing to work on your fears. And um, your confidence level, I feel like, is kind of low right now um, for your twin. All right. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Anything else for Aquarius in this twin flame? Okay, let's put it Aquarius. <laughs> Look at that. Take action. You're being told to be bold. I feel like y'all are in this energy of being addicted to them in silence, all right? In complete silence. You also have abundance at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's get to it. The reading. What happened in the past in love for Aquarius? Damn, that was quick. Seven of Cups. Confusion, having multiple options, okay? Um, or fantasizing about this person. Addictively said, um, fantasizing about this person. What's going on in the current energy? In love for Aquarius for Ju in July. What's the current energy? The temperance. All right, that's that twin flame energy. All right, you two blending together. It looks good. How does Aquarius feel about this person? Oh, damn. Five of Wands. Probably conflicted about them. Okay. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Seven of Swords, okay. Any advice for Aquarius and moving forward? Any advice for Aquarius? Okay. The Queen of Wands, be bold. Make the type of first move, it keeps coming up for you. And um, what's the person's near future actions towards Aquarius? They're coming in, they're coming towards you too. What's the most likely overall outcome in love for Aquarius and the Queen? Is it Ace of Coins? Yeah, Ace of Coins. Whatever you're manifesting coming to fruition, it looks good, okay? Uncertain about where it's going to head, but it's there. Uncertain about where it's going to head. Maybe a little insecure, but it's coming, it's coming in. Let's clarify Seven of Cups. Clarify Seven of Cups. Five of Cups. Okay, maybe, okay. I'm seeing some of you being disappointed or upset that, that things you're dreaming of or fantasizing about this person has not come to fruition just yet, okay? Others of you, you have multiple, you may have multiple options or you may feel that this person does. Um, and there's a level of sadness here or disappointment for you for whatever reason, okay? This is what it's kind of looking like. Why the Five of Cups? Why Five of Cups? The King of Wands. 
I feel like you don't feel like you measure up to this person for some reason. You're being told to show them the real you. Yeah, this maybe someone from your past. All right, someone from your childhood, possibly with the Six of Cups. It's really nostalgic, childlike energy here at the bottom of the deck. It could be a fire sign or a water sign. Especially Sagittarius. For some, okay, for the current energy, you have the Temperance. Clarify Temperance. Clarify Temperance. Oh, shit. Ha! <laughs> Look at this. An ending of a cycle, ending of things um, being kind of weird for you. This person's coming in. This is your divine feminine or you are the divine feminine. Okay. I like this. So ending old shit from the past. Okay. Is what it's kind of looking like. Ending old stuff uh, and trying to move on to a new beginning. I like the fact that the ten of swords is here and the ace of coins in the near future. So you're starting. It's, it's a new chapter with you and this twin. Okay. It's a new chapter for you and this person. I like this. This person, you may end up having children with this person or you already have children with them. Okay. Look at that. The bottom of the deck is the emperor. The emperor and the empress. Yeah, this is your other half. This is the yin and yang. Look at that. All right. This could be Aries, Taurus, Gemini, possibly Libra, Sagittarius. I'm definitely seeing fire more than anything. Fire and water are coming up a lot. How you feel about them is the five of wands, which is weird because I didn't expect that from y'all. Clarify the five of wands. I'm seeing you two making, uh, I'm not making peace or making up, all right? Especially if there was drama between y'all in the past, all right? Tell me about the five of wands. I feel like they came back to you before though. In the, rec in the recent past, the king of wands, I feel like they, I feel like y'all been talking for a while now. Clarify the five of wands. The tower. How you feel about them? You feel like this may be a situation. I don't know why you feel there's drama attached to the situation somehow or to them. But I feel like you feel something about this connection with two of you um, is a disaster waiting to happen. I don't know if it has to do with you two or outside influences. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm seeing that there may be drama attached to this. Tell me about the five of wands and the tower. How you feel about them? I feel like this is a tower waiting to happen. Tower moment waiting to happen. The Empress. Some of you may. I'm telling you, this is your divine feminine, or you are the divine feminine. All right. I'm seeing somebody's. I'm seeing a mother figure being involved in this somehow, some way. This could be a Taurus or a Libra. I'm seeing drama surrounding a situation with another person, possibly. Okay. Um. Some. I'm seeing possible a possible mistress. Doesn't have to be, but a possible mistress, or you know, you know what I'm saying. There could have been another person involved. All right. Um, that may be why they see. That, that may be why your twin sees you like this. They okay. Let's get to this real quick because the seven of swords is Aquarius energy anyway. All right. Let's get to that because I feel like this person feels you are. A, um, I'm hate to say it, but I feel like this person feels you're a liar and a cheater or a sneak. Can I find the seven of swords? How does the person feel about Aquarius? How does um. This person feel about Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. King, that's funny as hell because they—I feel like they still want to commit though. They still want something. Yeah, they want. I feel like they want to give to you. Six of Cups, Six of Coins. I feel like they want to give their time, energy, effort, money. You know, they want to give to you. Okay, if they owe you an apology, they want to give that to you too. If you owe them an apology, you need to—you need to do that. Okay, I feel like that's already been done though. I feel like y'all already in a good place. Right now, I feel like y'all y'all are working things out right now. Um, I see that that be whatever betrayal that may have happened in the past, that's done, that's over with. You're healing that. You both are healing that. All right, um, is what I'm kind of looking like. I feel this person still feels that mm, you got a lot of work to do, especially with the Seven of Swords here. Tell me more about how this person feels about Aquarius, so the Seven of Swords and the King of Coins. Four of Swords. Yeah, they may feel like you need a break or that they feel they need a break from you or to rest from you or maybe that's, I feel like that's already been done, especially with the current energy being what it is. All right. I feel like they're kind of stuck on if they should um, reach out to you or not or if they should let you come back in or not. But there's a part of them I still, that still feels like you can be better or do better with the King of Coins. They feel like you can be loyal. You can be right for them is what I'm kind of seeing here too. Okay, they may also feel like you're very, you're very much focused on your money. Um, they, for a small portion of you, they may feel like you avoid them at times. Like they feel like kind of distant from you. They may feel like you're kind of distant. Maybe you reach out sometimes and then sometimes you don't. Um, 
But how you feel about them? You feel like they are beautiful on the inside and out. I feel like you feel this person is always there for you like a mother would be, like a father would be. Because you have the Empress here twice. So there's somebody here that is that treats you as a priority, okay? And I feel that's how you feel with them. But I'm also seeing another person involved somehow, some way. And I feel like you feel the situation, not, the, not necessarily your twin, but I feel like the situation involves drama in some way, shape, or form that is like damn near unavoidable. Like it's kind of, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like there's something here where um, some type of catastrophic event may happen, some type of drama, all right, may happen. Or that's, that's, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Your advice, though, is the Queen of Wands. You're actually being told to be bold towards this person. Clarify the Queen of Wands. You're being told to make a move. Go after um, this person. You're being told to be get creative. Be passionate. Be confident. Sexy. I don't know. Clarify the Queen of Wands. This could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Five of Wands. I feel like you're being told to resolve a conflict in a, in a creative way. Yeah, second chances energy. Judgment here. Clarify the queen of wands and the five of wands. Thank you. Eight of coins. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're being told to work on something here. Work through something with you and this person. Drama or not. You got, the, you got five of wands on, on your side twice. All right. Wheel of fortune. Change your fate. Change this um, outcome for you and this person. Not the outcome, but change the dynamic of the situation. I feel like you have, for some reason, it feels like you have the power to fix everything. It feels like the ball is in your court. I feel like it, like whatever happens um, is, is surrounding with you. It has something to do with you, okay? I feel like you can fix this, okay? Yeah, Virgo is here. I'm just saying, I keep saying fire and uh, earth specifically too, especially Virgo, okay? Um, I feel like you're being told to make a move, okay? Nurture the situation. Take care of the situation. Make sure this is passionate with you and this person. Try to get back on their good graces. Because some of you, they still don't trust you. Whoever this is doesn't trust you. Is what I'm getting for some of you. Alright. But, though, in the near future, I do see them coming towards you. Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. That's the crazy part. I see you two seeing eye to eye. Look at that. They're coming in to either accept the offer from you. Or to offer you, to give you an offer. They're coming in quickly, too. Like, like really fast. They want a new start with you. Anyway. Okay. So they do have feelings for you. I feel like they don't show it. I feel like you don't either. I feel like neither one of y'all really show it. Especially that, that may be... Huh. That may be... Damn. <laughs> that may be specifically why show the world the real you is here. I feel like that's for both of you. I feel like both of y'all are holding back. Because I'm not seeing much emotion on either one of y'all's side. But it's here with the temperance. Okay, this person wants a um wants possibly um an offer. They either want an offer from you or they want to give you one or both. The sun is here with the knight of swords again. I feel like this person does love you. Okay. Um, let's see. Your outcome is the ace of coins. So there it is. An offer coming towards you or an, um, you're giving an offer. Clarify the ace of coins. I like the abundance thing going on here. And I'm also seeing a new opportunity in work for you, um, Aquarius, with the Ace of Coins as your outcome. Can I find the Ace of Coins for love? Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. Queen of Cups. Okay, they're going to throw you the fuck off because I feel like they're about to get really emotional with you and you don't even, you don't even see it coming. I see them expressing their love to you in a way that you may have in, in the most vulnerable way possible. I see them opening their heart completely, all right? Page of Wands at the bottom. Being really passion, passionate and intimate. Tell me more about the near future for um, Aquarius and the Twin Flame of theirs. King, oh my gosh. King of Cups. The King and Queen of Cups. There's a possible commitment coming up. Look at this Ace of Wands. Okay. There possibly, there's a new beginning for the two of you coming up. Okay. I see a possible commitment. Two Aces and the King and Queen of Cups. This is definitely a twin. Um, any additional messages? King and Queen of Cups, and then the Emperor and the Empress in the same read. There's a reason you're addicted to this person. <laughs> this person is your person, okay? Look at this. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Chemistry, there's, a tra there's attraction here. Someone needs to release their ex for this to happen, though. There's an energy of someone needing to release their ex, whether it's you or them. And then maybe what this drama is here. I'm saying possibly be a um, baby mom or baby daddy energy, all right? Someone needs to release an ex for this union to happen. 
all right and then honeymoon it could be a possible trip coming up for the two of you or some of you could end up getting married to this person all right all right you guys all i have for you today hopefully you enjoy and if you did please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you later bye